What's going on? This is Ron Carter, and you're listening to Lead, Sell, and Scale. This podcast is really just an accumulation of my entire journey when it comes to making money online. I think I start off in the very first episode of the first season talking about selling products on Shopify and then quickly move into affiliate marketing, which is where I made my first sales, and then insights that I learned as a coach and uh, really just documenting the whole journey. So I don't really sell anything on this podcast. If I do talk about links in some of the older episodes, they no longer work. Just letting you know that right up front. Uh, If you do want to check out some free training on what I help my clients do, you can always go to therealroncarter.com. But other than that, let's get right into the episode. What's up, everyone? You're listening to Ecom Billionaires Podcast, and uh, I'm Ron Carter. I'm your host. And today I want to talk about a little quote that I've heard Russell Brunson. If you don't know who Russell Brunson is, he is the CEO and uh, co-founder of a little company called ClickFunnels. And they went from zero to uh, over $100 million in revenue in just three years without any capital funding, without any investors just bootstrapping it. And so I get a lot of my marketing tips and info from him, right? But anyways, he had a quote where he said, um, and I think he was quoting this as well. I forgot who this originally came from. But um, I heard Russell Brinson say that if you are not offending somebody with your marketing by noon every day, you're not marketing hard enough. And I used to hear that and think like, oh, maybe that maybe that's right for you. But I don't want to offend anybody. And, um, you know, I don't want to, like, be, like, promoting stuff so much that they're like, all right, dude, we're tired of seeing you. Uh, I don't I don't want one person to, to think or feel that. But I got a story for you guys today where, like, I, I totally understand that statement now. I get it 100%. And, um, and, yeah, so let me just dive right into it. Let's cue the intro and we'll get into the story. What's up, everyone? I'm Ron Carter, and I'm part of an underground movement of entrepreneurs who pride ourselves in giving value over making the sale. We put our message out to the world and let the people we can help come to us. We keep our nose to the grindstone because we know that every piece of content we publish is like a beacon of hope for the people we aim to serve. Unlike traditional marketers, we don't build complicated systems or funnels for the main objective of getting the sale or cheat by starting off with big piles of venture capital cash. Instead, we provide value, solve problems, build relationships, and most importantly, we empower others to do the same. We focus on contributing rather than converting. We're not in this game just to make money, but to make a difference. We build lifelong fans who we can serve over and over again. You're listening to Ecom Billionaires Podcast, and we are future billionaires. Right, everybody. So let's get it. Let me just start right off by, you know, starting off with the quote again. So the quote was, if you're not offending somebody with your marketing by noon every day, then you're not marketing hard enough. So basically, let's break this down. Why do we want to offend somebody, right, by noon every day with our marketing? Well, what does that mean? Well, when we have a message that's going out there to the world, we want our message to be polarized. We don't want it to just be blah, right? We don't want it to just be like everybody can identify with it because then it's just like some mushy, soft, very vanilla, very bland, very blah. You know, it's not, it doesn't have taste to it. It doesn't have grit, whatever your message is, whatever you stand for. But here's the thing. Whenever you stand for something, you are automatically standing against something else. Automatically. So... When we're we're marketing our message and we're doing it effectively, we are inherently going to make some people upset. But for every upset person that we create, we are also creating people who identify, people who relate, people who love our message on the other end of the spectrum, right? So I wasn't looking at the statement. That's how I was looking at the statement. But I wasn't looking at it like, you know, people, even people, you know, I was thinking that, 
maybe even people who identify with my message will get upset if they see me marketing the same thing over and over again, right? That's that's what I was thinking. So let me kind of paint the picture in the scenario where I was thinking this, okay? And this is just over the last week or so because um, if you listen to yesterday's episode, I actually um, actually dropped a, a new training funnel just yesterday, and, and we'll be talking about it in the outro of this episode, so you guys can get the link to it and and sign up for it if you want. It's a free training funnel where basically you can opt in and, and you get to learn my exact experience that that I had going through the 30-day live challenge. And it's the challenge where we go go live on Facebook in a specific group every day for 30 days straight. And at the end of it, you get a thousand dollar Facebook or you get a thousand dollar Facebook group growing course for free for completing the challenge. And so the funnel that I built is to uh, inform people, you know, gives them five video lessons for free. And, and I go over my experience with the challenge, you know, my struggles, the ups, the downs, the benefits, and the results that I've gotten already just from doing the challenge. So that way people will know if it's right for them before signing up. And then, of course, I give them the option to sign up under my affiliate link, give them a bunch of extra free bonuses, like some awesome bonuses that come with it, uh, like... You know, uh, I'm giving them 30 days of inspiration where they get an inspirational video from yours truly every morning. So at 6 a.m. on the dot, your time, every morning you get an email in your inbox with a video from me giving you some inspiration, some motivation to get your ass in gear and get going. Do your daily live for the day so that we can start it off right. But I'm also throwing in an hour coaching call for anybody who takes action and actually signs up for the 30 day challenge while they are in this free mini training. Uh, so I've been talking about this, right, for the last week or so as I was building it and in almost every live video that I was doing in my Facebook group, I was mentioning it. And so I thought that people were tired of hearing it, right? I thought people were tired of hearing me talk about it. I thought everybody in my group probably knows about this already. All 130 people are probably tired of hearing me talk about it. But the reality is, I was just tired of hearing myself talk about it. That's it. I'm thinking that they're tired, right? I'm thinking everybody knows because because I, you know, I've been talking about it for days, and then and I've been and I let everybody know like in multiple live videos, like hey, on Sunday this is going to drop. It's going to be available, right? And so on Sunday, and this is not just in my Facebook group. I was doing this in my Facebook group. I was doing this in the group that in the group that I'm actually doing the challenge videos in as well and doing this in another Facebook group. And then I emailed my list about it, right? I did a couple of podcast episodes talking about it. That's why I'm sure you guys probably heard me talk about this challenge already in the funnel that I'm building for it. So I thought everybody who follows my content already knows about this. They're probably tired of hearing me bring it up. That's what I'm thinking, right? So this morning, something funny happened. And uh, I, I got message, I got a message um from a friend right and this uh you know i'm not going to say their name just because i want to just keep the story neutral you know they're probably they might be listening um and it's not about who it is it's it's about what happened and and what i thought about it um so this person is somebody who's expressed interest in the challenge from day one when i said that i was doing it and um i kind of gave them the lowdown and i couldn't get them in for free anymore because it became a paid thing and so i said hey just just hold up before you before you join and i'm building this funnel where you're going to get all these awesome bonuses for joining and uh and, and they were like okay cool and so the funnel released on sunday right and i did all this content in all these different places um sunday and yesterday and saturday so over the last three days and uh you know, and over the last two days, I've been actually given the link in every piece of content that I make. It's like, yo, click here to opt in, right? And uh, this morning, I got a message from my buddy saying, just signed up for the challenge. And so I'm thinking, awesome, because part of my instructions are like, hey, when you're going through this mini training, if you decide to sign up for the challenge, let me know immediately. That way I can get you your bonuses. I'll, I'll verify that you bought it uh, through my link and then I'll send you your bonuses right away. So I got that message, but it's weird. My instructions did not say to message me on Facebook. It said to email me and it said that and it was very specific. It said, put, you know, put this in your email subject, you know, uh, and I think I said, write 
30 day challenge in your email subject line and in your actual email write the email address like that you signed up with that way i can verify that you're signed up and then i'll get your bonuses and so my friend just messaged me on facebook messenger and said hey sign up for the challenge and i was thinking that he signed up under my link and that he was letting me know so he can get his bonuses and so then like i went to go verify and i couldn't see his i couldn't see any commissions come in and long story short he didn't sign up through my link uh, he ended up taking a different offer from the guy who created the challenge, right? And, um, and as soon as I said, hey, I, I don't see your commission in there, but I'm looking to verify that you got it so I can get your bonuses. And then he said, oh, shit, sorry, man. And he said, I didn't know your funnel was up. Um, I, I didn't know that you had it available. And, and at first I was so upset, right? I was so mad at first. I didn't say anything to him, but um, I was like, 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 actually, I said, it's okay, man. Don't worry about it. Like, don't trip. And, but like in my head, I was thinking, or I'll, I'll just let you know what I was thinking because I don't usually get to go on a, on a negative rant, right? And I'm not saying that this is right at all. That's why I didn't say this, but this is what I was thinking. And I still do believe this to, to a T, right? Um, like, this is something that I actually do believe. If you are an affiliate marketer, if you are looking to get commissions from other people buying things, right? If you want people to buy stuff from you, you're trying to sell other people's products and you want to get a commission. If you want people to actively do that from you, like instead of saying the word you, I should say I. If I want people to buy products through me, if I want people to buy things that I recommend from me so I can get a commission, then shouldn't I make an effort to do the same? Right? And what I mean by this is once you get into the affiliate marketing world, once you start networking and making connections with other affiliate marketers, like on Facebook and inside of Facebook groups, you're going to get to the point where any product, any digital product that you have interest in that you might want to buy, you like, for, for example, right now, any digital product about marketing or about affiliate marketing or, or any of the stuff that I actually like to do funnels, I'm sure that, you know, I can go to the whatever business that's selling that product, right? And buy it straight from them. But I'm sure I probably already know somebody who is selling that product as an affiliate. I'm probably already connected with somebody who's selling this thing that I want to get, right? So if I want people to buy stuff through me, then I should make an effort to do the same, right? I should make an effort like, hey, for example, this is a great example. Um, when I was signing up for GetResponse, it's an email marketing software. Uh, I decided that, hey, you know, like right at the time that I was signing up for this, this is months ago, this is like back in March or April, I, I had just gotten a bunch of value from uh, from a, a friend, uh, Jason Blazifer. He's got a really awesome group called uh, Affiliate Marketing Madness with Jason Blazifer. And he gave me some pointers on growing my group because he started a little bit before me. And he just gave me a bunch of value right around this time. And I knew I was signing up for Get Response. And instead of just signing up for a free trial, going to their website, I said, hey, Jason, I know you promote Get Response. Can you please give me your affiliate link? I'm about to buy this. And he was so happy. He was like, yeah, sure, dude, here's my link. You can buy it through my link. But like, that that's what I'm saying. If you are an affiliate marketer, like I'm an affiliate marketer. So anytime I buy a digital product, I always look to see if there is somebody that I can buy it through first before I go buy it. Because I want to give back, right? I want to give back. And not, not even give back. I want to give, period. Even if it's somebody who hasn't bought through me. It doesn't cost me a cent more to do that. All it does is take me you know, a little bit of brain, a little bit of brain juice, you know, to think like, well, is there somebody that I know who's promoting this that can benefit from me buying this? Yes. Okay. There is. Well, let me hit them up and see if I can do it, you know? Um, and, and so this is my thoughts and my beliefs on this. And so that's why I was like upset, right? 
and uh and and the specific friend who who bought this thing like we've had like an ongoing relationship for a while we've been providing each other with a lot of value for like months on end and we haven't bought anything from each other at all yet right and so i was this person in my mind when i was setting up this funnel i actually had them in my mind like well this this person will buy from me i know for a fact that i'll be able to get this person to buy and so uh, when they buy, that will be, you know, 20 bucks a month for me coming in, which will be nice. Um, and, and so, and there was another person that I thought would get it too. And turns out, um, the, this person didn't even know, this is my point. This is what I'm getting at. They didn't even know the funnel that I was building was ready. And, and I thought that I had been saying this to everybody. I thought everybody knew about this training funnel and they're tired of hearing about it. But the reality is even one of my close friends on the internet had no idea that it was ready yet because I'd only been talking about it for three days. Even though I'm like, I sent emails, I made multiple podcast episodes, multiple live videos. Like for an example, I did three live videos just yesterday talking about this challenge and the funnel and dropping the link to it so i'm thinking like people are tired of hearing me talk about this but that's not the case i'm tired of hearing me talk about it so i think that everybody else feels like that but the reality is a large majority of the people who like know and trust me haven't seen any of these live videos or they or they weren't watching at the part where i said click the link up above to join this right they might have left early or didn't stay for the whole live and so any of you guys who do like to watch my content, stick around till the end because that's when I drop the value for you guys, always. Like like whenever I'm doing a live video um, and I'm talking about a concept at the end of them, that's when I let you know if you wanna take this further, I have something for you. You can click here to go get it. That's I always do that on purpose so that people actually consume my message instead of start watching the video and then, uh, and then just click the link and then they're gone and they're not watching the video anymore. I, I always drop it kind of near the end. So if any of you guys don't want to miss out on stuff, it, it's funny because my friend, like, I'm not saying this to make him feel bad. He expressed to me that he felt bad for not buying through my link. But um, the offer that he took was actually like a free offer where it's like he got to get into the challenge for free for signing up for something else. So, you know, it's all good. I can't get mad at him over that. And then, but here's what I realized though. I can't get mad at him at all because it's not his fault that he didn't know that this was available. It's my fault for not marketing it hard enough. And now I know, I know for a fact that every time I feel like I've said this enough or that, you know, I've promoted this link to this thing enough. Now I know that when I have that feeling, that means that I'm just getting started. That That's where, that's really where I'm at in the promotion cycle of this thing, whatever it is that I'm having to promote, whatever link or offer or funnel that I have in the future. I know that the moment that I feel like I'm saying this too much or promoting it too much, that only a small percentage or a small portion of my audience even knows about it. So I need to continue and I need to continue and I need to continue. And I probably need to talk about it until I'm blue in the face, right? Um, yeah, so I just wanna share that with you guys. We have to we have to ignore our instincts on some things because we don't know what other people feel, even though we think we might. We don't. Okay? So I'm gonna be promoting this funnel like a madman. And you know why? It's not because I'm trying to get something out of people with this funnel. I'm promoting this funnel like a madman because I know for a fact that it's going to provide a ton of value for anybody who goes in it and is an action taker and decides that this challenge is right for them. I know it, I know it without a doubt. And if I'm not sharing this with the world, I'm doing, I'm doing all of you guys a disservice by not sharing it, right? I'm doing you a disservice by making two, three live videos in a day and then saying, I've shared this message enough and then stopping or, and, or promoting something else later or just doing live videos where I'm adding value and not talking about it, right? Because for a while I was thinking, well, you know, maybe not that many people opted into this training funnel because they're not interested. I, I was I was thinking that like this morning, right? And then I got well, what I thought was a sale from that message, and I was all excited. And then I realized it wasn't a sale, 
they didn't buy it through me and uh, and, and then I realized like whoa they didn't even know it was ready I thought people everyone knew about it and only a couple people opted in because they're the only ones interested but no people don't know about it so what I'm doing today is uh, I'm going to be doing a live video later today and, I, and the live video is going to be strictly to promote it. What I've been doing is doing my normal live video where I talk about stuff. I have a bunch of value that I give and then I say, hey, by the way, if you want to jump into this training, I built this thing and then I start talking about it. But what I realized is the people who watch those live videos, they probably didn't stick around to the end. Like I know <laughs> it, it's funny because I thought I thought my friend knew about this specifically because he was on a live video with me like the the day that it dropped the night that the funnel was up and ready it was me and him only on a live video i was doing a live video there was only one audience member and then he commented and i was like oh what's up and i don't want to say his name but and as i was talking and i thought he was the person viewing i even said hey man uh so the funnel that i built is done it's ready and I, like i was talking directly to him i said his name and everything i said you can click the link right up above in this post and you'll be able to opt in and see it right and this was a few days ago and i saw that he didn't opt in i was like well maybe he's not interested or maybe he's not ready for it i don't know but i think what ended up happening on that live video is he left early like he came on the live he dropped some engagement commented let me know he was there and then he left right and then somebody else came on the live video and didn't say anything and so when they came on, all I saw was their little number that one person is watching. And I thought it was the same person. Um, and so when I was addressing him and saying his name and saying, I know you know about the funnel I've been building, man. It's right there. You can opt into it now. It was somebody else watching that. So he didn't even know. And so my point is, the moment where you think people are tired of hearing you talk about something that you're trying to promote, that, that, the moment that you feel that, that's when it's time to crank it up and start promoting harder because you're just getting started. That first initial doubt where you think like, well, that's, I think that's just how it did, you know, I guess that's it. Uh, I should wait about a week before I start promoting it again because I don't want people to get tired of hearing me promote it. The reality is if you promote something every day for like a week, <laughs> You know, the, the chances of the same people getting that same post every day out of the week are very small because of how the algorithms are set up. So that being said, if you're not offending somebody by noon every day with your marketing, if you're not offending at least one person every day with your marketing, you are not marketing hard enough. If you got something of value, something that you know is gonna help other people's lives, don't be ashamed of letting them know you have it. Don't be ashamed of offering it to them. That's it. I hope you guys got some value out of this. Kind of a heated, ugh, like, discussion in my mind all day over this. And I waited till the end of the day to really make a podcast episode about it. So I'm not just, like, upset or mad at myself or thinking that, oh, I didn't do this right. Because I went through all those feelings and emotions with this experience. And... Um, yeah, so I hope you got some value out of that. I hope, I hope you learned from my mistakes and it's not even really a mistake. It's not like it's all said and done. I'm about to start promoting this stuff again. Like I'm going to like, basically, instead of stopping promoting it, like the live video I did yesterday, I didn't promote it because I thought, well, I did, I, I dropped the link to a couple videos in a row. People know about it. But then from what, what transpired today, I know that that's not true. It's a false belief. People don't know about it. So that being said, if any of you guys want to join this funnel that I've been talking about uh, all, all episode, if you want to opt in and see exactly what I'm talking about, just go to ecombillionaires.com slash live. So that's L-I-V-E. So ecombillionaires.com slash live. It's absolutely free. I mean, it doesn't cost you anything to check this out. I mean, you do have to put your email address in. So I guess it costs you that. Um, but, you know, it's only going to give you a bunch of value and, and let you know if this 30 day challenge is really right for you. And if you're trying to sell anything, if you're trying to grow a Facebook group, I can tell you right now, it is right for you. My Facebook group tripled it more than tripled just from taking part in the challenge. 
And today is my 30th day, right? And so after I do my live video today, I'm getting that thousand dollar course for free because I earned it through the challenge. And that's the same opportunity that I'm trying to give the rest of you guys. So if you're interested in that, if you want to grow your group, if you want to get more engagement so you can grow that audience and be able to sell your stuff to them without spending money on ads, right? That's the, that's the caveat here. That's the beautiful thing about Facebook groups. You can get all this attention. You can grow it without running ads, without spending money on ads. And then you can sell to those people later and just make a bunch of profit and hopefully provide a bunch of value along the way, right? I know I am. So go to ecombillionaires.com slash live to get started with this today. Hope you guys are all having a good one. Take care. Peace. What's up, everyone? Thank you for listening to the episode. Thanks for being a part of this community. Um, I can't express my gratitude. Um, like, like, there's no way that I could really express the, the true gratitude that I feel for for you guys listening, for you guys being here. And um, but one thing that I have put together that I think will really help if any of you guys are trying to grow a Facebook group, if you're trying to grow your own community. Um, and you want to do it organically, right? And also, if you want to get better at being on camera, if you want to get better at uh, doing live videos and, and getting comfortable on camera, I have one solution that's going to tackle all of these for you. And um, I talked about it a little bit in today's episode, but so I just want to get down to it. It is the 30 day live challenge. And, uh, you know, I went into details about the challenge in the episode. So I'm just going to drop you guys the link so that you can get started. And this isn't gonna take you to the challenge. This is gonna take you to a funnel that I built where you're gonna get five video lessons daily for free where I document all the you know, everything that I learned in the challenge, the ups and the downs, the progress that I made. You guys are gonna be able to see my actual group growth. You're gonna see the stats. I'm gonna pull up my Facebook group and show you the stats. That's in just one of the training lessons uh, that you guys are gonna be able to get for free. So all you have to do is go to ecombillionaires.com slash live. So that's L-I-V-E. So ecom billionaires with an s at the end dot com slash live so go to ecom billionaires dot com slash live today opt in get this free training and then you'll be able to see if this 30-day challenge is right for you uh just by going through there and you also you also get the option to join the challenge as well so um And you'll get that option with every video lesson. This way you can go through, you can really know if it's right for you before moving forward and purchasing. I don't want anybody buying stuff that they're not sure about ever. I want everybody that buys anything from me to be excited, to be looking forward to everything that they're getting and looking forward to the results that they know that they're going to get so they can smash through their goals. Because that's what this is about, providing real value, helping people get real results. And that's what I'm all about. So... That being said, head over to ecombillionaires.com slash live. Opt in today. Start getting these free training lessons. Let's get it. Thanks for listening. Peace.